Welcome to the rocket profile of the Zenit 2, one of the simplest rockets ever designed. The first stage of the Zenit has four nozzles at the bottom, but those are attached to four combustion chambers fed by a single turbo pump, making it just a single engine, the RD-171. The RD-171 is the most powerful liquid fuel engine in the world thanks to its four chambers, while the Saturn V's F1 remains the most powerful single chamber liquid fuel engine in the world, the RD-171 provides 7,908 kilonewtons of vacuum thrust, while the F1 had around 7,770 kilonewtons. Both engines burn kerosene and oxygen, but thanks to a much higher chamber pressure, the RD-171 gets 10% better efficiency, 309 seconds specific impulse at sea level, and 337 seconds in vacuum. The engine was based on the RD-170, the engine made for the boosters on the Energia rocket that lifted the Russian space shuttle, the Buran. The main difference between the two variants is that the RD-171 gimbals on two axes, while the RD-170 only handles one. The first stage has fuel for 134 seconds, but throttles down so that it burns for around two and a half minutes. After that, the second stage lights, and then the first stage decouples. This is hot staging, which eliminates the need for separation motors. The main engine on the second stage is the RD-120, providing 833.6 kN vacuum thrust with an ISP of 349 seconds. But there is also the Vernier engine, the RD-8, which has four independently gimbling chambers and nozzles, providing an additional 79.5 kN. Both burn kerosene and oxygen for between 297 and 375 seconds. While a simple rocket with relatively few engines and a single type of fuel being burned throughout, the Zenit 2 had a troubled history with 36 launches and 28 successes, a 77.8% success ratio. Most of the problems had to do with the second stage fuel systems, but it also had a fairing separation problem and first stage engine failure 3 seconds after launch. Mostly it was used to launch the Selena 2 radio surveillance satellites, but the one time it was meant to launch a commercial payload, 12 Globestar satellites, its guidance system failed. It was superseded by the Zenit 3 SLB, which has had a much better success rate. On that note, thank you for watching this rocket profile of the Zenit 2.